Partial government shutdown now having a potentially dangerous impact on the food you eat. Yeah, this is the FDA commissioner announced today that all routine food inspections have been suspended. Yeah, wish TV's Jenny Dreisler joins us in studio. Jenny, uh, this sounds scary. What, what does this mean for Should us? Should we be worried here? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to explain here in a second. It is. It's a very serious situation. It is something we need to worry about, Mike and Brooke. These foods that the FDA typically tests for and put a lot of emphasis on are, listen to this, seafood, those veggies, fruits. These are not being tested right now, and they're in a category that the FDA usually considers high risk. Very scary. You don't even know what you're eating. It's something we do every week. Grocery shopping, but now even the simplest of tasks come with the biggest of risks as the impasse in Washington could impact the food you eat. I think it's all a travesty. I think it's, it's just it's just a big mess. The FDA oversees 80 percent of the nation's food supply with growing concerns that without inspection, foodborne illnesses may not be caught. I mean, I don't want to go eat any produce now and then that's affecting my safety. Just in June of last year, the FDA investigated a multi-state salmonella outbreak of pre-cut melons that started right here in Indianapolis. 70 people got sick, more than 30 hospitalizations. Shoppers we talked to were worried without the FDA inspections, something like this could happen again. But in a series of tweets, the FDA commissioner said he was working to bring back inspectors as early as next week to inspect high-risk facilities such as soft cheese and seafood processing plants. Either way, consumers will be taking precautions and hoping the gridlock in Washington ends soon. I'm going to be very careful. I would make sure that whatever I buy, I, I make sure that I, I process it, you know, myself uh, more carefully. Domestic meat and poultry are still being inspected by staff at the Department of Agriculture, but they too, guys, going without pay tonight. Yeah, and how are we going to know, Jenny, if the FDA is still inspecting some of these high-risk foods? You know, that's the biggest question that I've seen all over the national media, all over some of these websites where they're talking about, they're releasing their own statements tonight, in particular food advocacy groups all over the country concerned. Now, get this in a statement from the Center for Science and the Public Interest. They said, quote, and I'm just going to read this because I want to get this right, the agency talking about the FDA has posted no new warning letters since the shutdown began more than two weeks ago. That raises concerns that enforcement activities effectively may have stopped.